Yeah. The number one, uh, uh, well, the future number one real estate agent in the world. Let's go. It's not Miami. Welcome, everybody, to Pinecrest, Florida. You know what it's called. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. And I'm telling you right now why it's the best. Right behind me is a $6.9 million estate on almost an acre of land and square footage of just around 6,000 square feet. This home right here is beautifully renovated inside and it's got a nice combination of like a contemporary mixed with Mediterranean all-in-one transitional baby. So let's go on in without further ado. 6.9 million in Pinecrest. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I'm gonna tell you right now why it's the best. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. It's, it's a whole lot better. They do it for the greater good. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I'm gonna tell you right now So before why we the enter the home, of course, we have to talk about the grounds right when you enter. You're completely gated around the entire property. You have two gated entrances right here in the front. A beautiful entrance here with oak trees all the way around, manicured flawlessly beautiful. And then you have right here, you have this beautiful, large Porto Coche, and you have people that are doing lawn service right in the front, which is fine, because your front door neighbor needs to, you know, take care of their landscaping, because they paid $9.3 million for their home earlier this year. You heard that right. And this one's 6.9 million. So I think you're in good company right in front of you, right? You also have a two car garage here as well. And then obviously this grand entrance, and now, we walk and we enter the home, shall we? Thank you. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I'ma tell you right now why it's the best. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. It's a whole lot better than the rest. It's not Miami. So now, you enter this beautiful estate and you're greeted with this foyer entry with this extremely high ceilings. But the great part is you're looking straight to the backyard, looking at the pool and then the landscaping I, I love that. I love a straight shot view right when you walk in. Because when you walk in, you want to have some oomph to it, right? So to the left right over here, you have like a little closet storage space with, with a powder room there, okay? And then over this way, right? Well, actually, I, did you show them? You probably showed them on the B-roll. George probably did. But you got the living room right here that we were talking about, right? The master bedrooms on that side, we'll see that in a second. But we're going to work to the entertaining spaces first. Really nice size dining room here overlooking the front yard, which is nice. And then you have a little prep station over there right next to the dining room as well. And then, of course, every single dining room is off of what? The kitchen, La Cocina. Right here, this is La Cocina here. We got drinks served for you guys, all right? Really nice countertops here. I love the blue accent they put on this side over here. Really nice accents there. And then this is white, right? So it gives that nice kind of Kind of matches the pool, like if you look at it at a certain angle, which is pretty cool. But look at the cabin, it's going all the way up. You have the pot filler right over here. Wolf induction cooktop. Look at this backsplash. I absolutely love that stone back there. It, it's a little different from the countertop, which would be, you know, like a, a, a quartz countertop, but it's very nice. Very nice attention to detail that it goes all the way up. All right, and then you have the double oven over there for Thanksgiving every single year at your house. Two turkeys, one, one regular, one vegan. <laughs> I don't know if there are, are there vegan turkeys? I think there might be. Well, anyways, refrigerator right over here. And then over on that side, you got the breakfast nook area and everything with your family room integrated in one space. So it's nice, big, entertaining space here to entertain, have some fun with the family, cook and do it all here overlooking the pool. So now we come on over here to this side of the house. Come to this side of the house where you have the rest of the bedrooms. So there are five bedrooms in total with six bathrooms. The four bedrooms are over on this side, all right? We'll go this way first, where you have one bedroom here that uses this bathroom, which is also the cabana bath. And then you have this other bedroom here, which is an ensuite bedroom with a really nice nook area for you to, you know, get some work done. And then down this way, you have another bedroom here. Now I wanna mention, really nice, is the flooring. It's big porcelain slabs, but the way that they designed it, and I'm in an empty room now, so it's nice you can see it. It has a unique design, which is, gives it some nice cool, cool look to it. Because if not, if it's just like standard, you know, right next to each other, it gives it a different look. 
So I kind of like the feel. You notice the kind of like that transitional, right? So this is a little bit more modern, but it's a softer color. And then you'll notice the arches, which is more Mediterranean. So it's a blend of that, it's a transition of that, right? And then you come over here, this is neat, walk-in closet over there. You have your little makeup station, prep area over here. And then this is the bathroom. And in this bathroom, you'll notice the shower is renovated, so the shower has that more modern twist. So it's that, that's what makes it more of a transitional modern, uh, which in my opinion, I love it because you have certain elements that are Mediterranean, very, you know, Mediterranean homes are typically like large, high ceilings, all that. And then you have that, that blend, right? So now we're working our way to the laundry room where we have George's stuff here, his station, George's, Ger the laundry room slash George's workroom. <laughs> George, George is like, yeah. And we have one bedroom over here with its own bathroom, which would be more like a maid's quarters. And then you have the two car garage. Now we're gonna work our way to the other side of the house. So you can see the impressive primary suite with the office. Let's go. Let's boogie on down to town. Go, go, all right, now cut it, cut. are on the master suite side, the most important side, because it's where you're gonna spend a third of your life. One over three, that's how many, eight hours divided by 24 is one third. Just letting you know that if you didn't know. So the bedroom's there, but across from the bedroom, you have here, it was a nice office, right? See, what's pretty neat, this office overlooks the front, but what I love is that it's right off of the entrance of the home. So you're entering the home, you make a left, and then you come right here. So you can get an, a client that comes by the house and they can come in here real quick and then they just leave. And you can just leave the master bedroom doors closed, right? So that's pretty cool. And then what's neat too is up above here, you have the coffered ceilings, the nice attention to detail with that. And then of course, this has this double door entry, but the master bedroom also has this double door entry as well. So double door entry leading into your master suite here, okay? You have a nice big bedroom, high ceilings here, right, overlooking your pool and back area, which is super nice. But you can do like a nice seating area here. Put a massive TV, 85 inches, why not? Why not 100 inches? I don't know if they make TVs that big, but this is a big wall for you to do as you please. And then another double door entry that leads to a really cool area, right? So this is a little landing area. You know, you look at yourself in the mirror before you get ready. Well, I look good and I'm ready to go. This is where you do that right here. Right? And off of this little landing area, you have one walk-in closet here, which is empty right now, so you don't get a sense of space. And then you have another walk-in closet over here. Okay, and then you have this cool area right here. Let's call it the yoga room, all right? This yoga room, meditation room, or another office if you need it to be, or just like a little hangout. Maybe you wanna just put a little couch in here, just like your library. So many options, but they have it as yoga. So you can just like, Like that, you know? You know what I mean? Like that, like you could just do that all day. Like, why not? If you could, not all day obviously, but like in the mornings, you know, whatever. Anyways, so then also off of that landing area is the master bathroom. Now this is like nice blend, right? It's bringing in some elements. We're talking about Mediterranean, now it's like more modern in here. But I love how gold is coming back around. It's so funny how everything comes like full circle, right? Gold was like not cool and black was not cool and now you see black toilets and gold and all that and it's like, wow, that's so cool, right? Just hold on to something long enough, maybe it comes back around. <laughs> really nice, I love, look how big that rain shower is, it's gold as well, all the gold fixtures there. And then you have the body, uh, you know, the body jets there as well with beautiful tiling, I love it. And it's a nice soft finish on the tile too, which is nice, all right? And then obviously you have your, your tub over here with the gold faucet as well. And it has the handheld as well, so you can sing in the tub or in the shower, whichever one you want. And then over here you have your private toilet room with a bidet, and you have the other private toilet room there. Uh, but you have a double vanity, of course, too. So this vanity is a lot larger with the nice same countertops as that were in the kitchen. Very nice, it's beautiful. And then you have this mirror that's... What does that do? Oh look, it's got like different light. That's so cool. Sorry, I got distracted. 
I apologize, got distracted there. Over here we have the same vanity, and then you have, again, the mirror that's really cool with the lights and the buttons, all right, and the gold fixtures here as well, and that other private toilet. And what's neat is this one actually goes outside too. So if you just wanted, you know, you have the cabana bath on the other side, but maybe if you wanted just people to use that, you could do that as well. You have options, right? Really cool, linen closet there. This is the master suite. Isn't this super sweet? <laughs> Sweet like candy cane. Woo! Now, let's take it outside and show you how you could entertain in this backyard. Let's go. Now we are here in the backyard, and this gives you a great idea of what entertaining back here would look like, right? You have a huge area here, deck around the pool to entertain, to have some food ready, to have some drinks ready, right? And then you have covered space over there for people to be under, just in case it's raining and you want to still entertain. You have so much space back here to have fun and host the entire family for Thanksgiving when you got the two turkeys in the oven, right? <laughs> now, back here, what's really nice too is you have large yard space over there. So you could put like a trampoline, you could put a little basketball hoop too if you wanted to. Green space over there, huge. And you have more green space over here as well. So just under 41,000 square feet of land. So that's a lot of space. And that's why people love Pinecrest so, so much. So that's the end of the tour. Pinecrest Living, beautiful estate, surrounded by million dollar properties in the best part of Pinecrest. And the, why is it the best part? Because this has all the mansions around and because the school zones here, this is Pinecrest Elementary. You have some of the best top rated schools just close by. And that's why so many New Yorkers love it down here. And that's why they say, I don't say it, they say, it's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. And this is why yeah. it's better than all the rest. The Thank you for watching. Make sure you go down, you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. I'ma tell you right now why it's the best. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. It's a whole lot better than the rest. It's not Miami, it's Pinecrest. 12 schools in town ranked highest. It's not Miami.